Welcome back. This is Sports Tonight. We're broadcasting live from Channels TV Sports Centre in Lagos, Nigeria. What are we talking about? Uh, we've just gone by the 2017 FIBA Afro Basket Women's Championships. That competition is being played in Bamako, Mali. We told you that Team Nigeria, they are known as the D-Tigress. They're showing all of the promises, giving us some champion stuff, making us talk about them. 9.45 tonight, they will be taking on Senegal. Uh, let's, let's hear you talk to the D-Tigress. How do you want them to approach that game against Senegal? I want to read your messages live on this show. So talk to us on Twitter, channels underscore sports, verified Twitter handle, by the way. We do nothing but talk sports there on Facebook channels like Facebook. I want to read from you tonight on the program. Let's show some love to the ladies. All about the ladies tonight. Let's go to Paris in France. That's the venue for the World Wrestling Championships. A listen up, just in case you don't know, information that you can use. Odwanyo Adekuroye, she has now become the first African woman, hello, yeah. I didn't say Nigeria, the first African woman to win a medal at the World Wrestling Championships that is taking place in Paris. The 2014 yeah, Commonwealth Games champion lost narrowly 5-4. Oduanyo was so close, so yeah. proud of you, girl. 5-4 against Japan's Aruna Okuno in the final of the women's 55 kg. By the way, she's number one in her category, yeah. uh, Joseph. Any I want to look at this in sports, yes, we play to win, but Duanyo is a champion anytime. Yeah, she is. You have to give her credit. It's not easy to, to you know, to be the number 55 kg category, you know, to be the number one and then going to championship and coming up second. I'm slightly disappointed when you consider, you know, the progression, really. She, she won Commonwealth gold medal 2014. In 2015, the United States, she came, she won bronze, now silver. Well, it's a progression anyway. Yeah. But when you consider, you know, the work has, has been expended so far and the energy and everything, one would have, you know, thought that uh, she, she would cap it up with a gold medal, which mm. really would mm. have been the, the best. But you have to give credit to her. It's not easy That's to right. pull it off. That's right. You know, I thought the, 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 team, uh, the guys, the ladies from Ukraine would give her issues, but it was the Japanese that took her out. You know, but, but I have to give credit. It's not easy to, to, come, yeah. to come out with a silver medal in <laughs> and this world is what, championship. And this is what I was saying. So it means that know? when it gets to the Olympic now, she's, she's a medal hopeful. All of these yeah. things, they, they add up, Joseph. And, but for the efforts of the Federation, yeah. would have been saying something else now that they couldn't make it. Because we know how they struggled to get into camp in Yenagua yeah. by Elsa State and how they struggled after the first airline that they were supposed to use to go to Paris and mess things up. They had to get into another flight. All of this because we have a leadership in place yeah. that understands wrestling. Yeah. And that's why I was saying this. You have to give credit to, to Daniel Igali. You really understand what it takes to, mm. to put together a world championship team. You know, his experience in Canada has taught him a lot. Right. If you look at what these ladies have been able to achieve, in spite of the restrictions that they've had, you can imagine some of them got there two, two days to the tournament. So they, uh, there was no issue of acclimatization or anything. You know, some got a day two. You know, which is quite sad. So mm. you can imagine what would have mm. happened if we had been there a week or two to the time, which yeah. is supposed to be statutory. Yeah. You know, but you, you can imagine what the result they would have achieved. But you have to give credit to them. I must say, you know, Dwyer has done very well to, to, to come out with, with silver medalists when, when you look at the hindrances, the issues that they've had. Mm. And uh, quite frankly, Daniel Gali has really, really been impressive. That's right. So Nigeria traveled to the World Championships with six wrestlers, uh, two male wrestlers, yeah. and four four female wrestlers. We just talked to you about Oduan, you are the creator. That's on your picture there. The five uh, KG category. Champion anytime, yeah. any day. Uh, she's always all smiles. Uh, that's Aminat Adeni yeah. in your picture. I uh, was still waiting for her result. Blessing Oboru Dudu. I want to talk to you about Blessing. Uh, she was also close, but she lost to Colombia's uh, Jacqueline Castillo. 8-7 in the bronze medal fight of the 63 kg uh, category. Uh, so I was like, oh, why didn't she win? But I said, this is good experience yeah. in the bag, Joseph. It is. It yeah. is good experience, but uh, one would have preferred if something had come I out. Know, you that's, know, that's but, new but, fans. But, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. But, but I just hope that a lot, a lot of lessons has been learned from that's this. Right. Because what we are looking at really is heading towards the Olympics. We want to have a very team that is highly competitive. This is a world championship. It, it, it's, it's home to the best. And it's like the World Cup of uh, you know, of, of wrestling. So, so really, for her to have performed the way she's done in yeah. her category and lost in a broad, bronze medal match, it means that uh, she could actually come up, you know, w w win something at, 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 the, at the Olympics itself. Ooh, ooh. So, so really, you, in as much as we feel slightly disappointed, yeah. we also have to understand that these people are, they are humans and, uh, and I like this is a sign that they could actually achieve greater things. That's right. Prospects, Olympics, yeah, Joseph. Prospects. And I like the fact that 
You've been saying the Olympics. Yeah. That's long term. Yeah. Beautiful. But before the Olympics, there's the Commonwealth Games yeah. that will take place in Australia. So this is good opportunity for them. Before they go to the Commonwealth Games, Nigeria, remember, will host the 2018 yeah. Africa Wrestling Championships. So they will be saying silver medalist at the World Championships <laughs> or Odoan Yadekroye. So if you are one uh, opponent from maybe uh, Morocco or Cameroon or Mali, you start shaking. Yeah, it's setting up nicely mm. for, for, for a good medal at the Commonwealth. But, but I, I think that the thinking of, of Nigerian Wrestling Federation has really exceeded that of the Commonwealth. You know, when you look at the fact that, uh, you know, Odwayo is actually an Olympic, uh, won the Commonwealth gold medal, and she's, she's aimed to, to, to win uh, the, the gold medal, and she couldn't, and she came second. So if you look at it on paper, it's almost like the Bhutanese when the gold medal is almost certain before the Egyptians came now and giving us issues. <laughs> you know, so, so we realize that we are tops in, Af in, in the Commonwealth. Mm. I, I, I cannot see anything from any, any wrestler from Australia in their category, yeah. you know, in the top four. You realize that it is even the Japanese and those from Ukraine that are giving them issues. Uh -huh. so, so you realize it's, it's almost certain. It's becoming a straw. All we just need to guide against is complacency. Aside you know, that, that's just the thing. Iron sharpens iron, yeah. brother. Because if you don't prepare, if you say, oh, because Odwayo won silver at the World Championship, then in Tokyo 2020, Odwayo, just go and sit down. <laughs> you win gold. Yeah. It doesn't work that way. Yeah, and just to let you know that these are wrestlers are talented. Blessing, Oboro Dudu, uh, en route to that bronze medal yeah. fight, she gave a fall to two-time junior world medalist or competitor. Yeah, now, if you can beat all these top um, wrestlers, yeah. then it means that they have it. But... You know, it's like what we say in sports that 90% is mental. It's mental. Yeah. And then the rest is just physical and what you see around. So mentally, if our wrestlers or our athletes are not ready, if they are thinking of funding, yeah. if they are not prepared properly, they don't even have psychologists. Yeah. Some of them are breadwinners, yeah. but they're not being, they don't have good welfare packages. Just about how they win. It's, it's, it's a problem that the ministry has to come uh -huh. in and help them sort out. Because funding is something that, uh, you know, quite frankly, what is something that is very key if you are to, to have an Olympic athlete or a gold medalist. You are go, you, you've got to invest a lot. And I just like the way, you know, Daniel Egali has been able to, to really put this thing together. His experience will come handy. Hmm. I believe that conversations is not just uh, there as, as the federation chairman. He's also there as a senior colleague who understands, you know, the, the demands of, of staying, not just being at the top, but staying at the top. He's won the Olympic gold, medalist, uh, uh, gold medal before. So I do believe these athletes from time to time, him himself on his own part, would be doing everything possible to make sure he keeps them in shape. He knows that they must maintain this form. They cannot afford to be complacent. They need to attend competitions. They need to be in top shape because if they are not in top shape, they would not make you know, progress. Mm. I do believe that he should be able to liaise with the sports ministry. The sports ministry should be able to seize, seize on these results and see that this, is, this, is a, this, is, this, is, this looks very much like a sport that can fetch us a gold medal. Yeah. Or it may, it's, 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 it's obvious. Are the so, so let, let about, them seize this opportunity. At the Olympics, about and 20 medals from wrestling. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And begin to look at the possibility of having a robust program that can really engage these athletes. In terms of you know, in terms of growth, in, in terms of you know, finance, that in terms of training grants, and you know, that will help them be in shape for for the for for, for the Olympics proper. Because quite frankly, I, I never thought that we would have such a crack team as we do now, oh. and that we could actually come up with four or five gold medals or medals oh. from, from from wrestling, which is which is fantastic. But I just pray that they would seize this opportunity and do what is needful to ensure that these athletes don't lose form.